What is up, everybody? I am back. It is after the Bills game Sunday. They lost. I'm kind of sad. But I'm out ice fishing. Uh, my little crick. Okay? That's frozen over. And I just caught this. But I do have a GoPro. I, my GoPro is hooked up to a janky head mount. And I will be wearing that. But I just caught this guy through the ice. I was thinking I brought too big of a presentation, but it's a nice five inch chub. So I'm gonna let him go and I'm gonna put the GoPro on and I'm gonna go back to fishing so he doesn't die. See you guys when I catch some more fish. I'm back in my room and if you can tell, just look. There's been a bit of a change. First change is we have got all of our mounts up. My mount, my European mount, my dad's European mount. This one was homemade. This, this head right here. And this was bought at Walmart. My first squirrel, it's a gray squirrel. It, this one was been through a house fire right here. But it's still amazing. Our coyote with the tail mount. Fishing pole set up on the ceiling. We got spinning reel. Bait cast, spinning, 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 spinning. And then we have a pheasant. Now what I want to do is, I want to move this pheasant over this way. Right here. Once I get a female pheasant, and have this one right here, and have both of them coming together. Like right here's the male, and then the female's looking towards her. So sort of like, they're going to each other. And then, I kill the black squirrel, and I got a duck. I'm, the duck's going somewhere on this wall right here, guys. So, that's going to be good. And the black squirrel is probably going to go somewhere by the coyote, maybe. Somewhere over here. It's just, I'm happy with what's coming along. And I, I have all my cool Native American stuff. And the closet we cleaned up. Fishing gear and everything. And this is my setup for whenever I go up. Um, ice fishing. I have my hat. I have my ice fishing stuff. This needs to get put in my bag. That needs to get put in my bag. But yeah. Now, let's talk about the day. Two things. I didn't have the correct bait. I was using plastics and I wanted to use wax worms. And I brought too big of a presentation. The presentation was probably about this big. But yeah, I was catching creek chubs. And I had tons of bites and all. But they were not committing because it was too big. So I should have brought in a smaller jig or something or a small that's the small spoon i have but i just want to get on any ice like i said in, in the i think the intro that's the only fish i caught but i'm gonna put some gopro footage um after the not after the yeah after the outro and to show you guys the new perspective what i was talking about of i'm hoping it came out good because it's kind of homemade like here's even a closer look at it if i can find it guys no, it's not in my room. So, yeah. I can't find it. But, it's pretty janky. It has zip ties on it. Some of it's hot glued because I broke it. It's it's real, It's really funny. But, I hope you guys enjoy. And, it's coyote season, guys. So, I'm hoping I can get out to coyote hunting soon. There's this property. It's actually a farm. And, they want their coyotes dead. And, I told them last year that I could kill them. So, See you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy the new perspective.
somewhat editing the video, and why I'm doing this is, my GoPro, I just had it to, well, oh, it's right here on charge. This was an old, um, light mount that I just found laying around in my, in my house. And, well, as you can see, it's not pointing straight. It is actually pointing up. So, when I, now, since I'm learning from this, this has to be more at a downwards angle as I'm wearing it. Because I did not know about that, but you can see some of my tip. But what I wanted to get the perspective of was me looking down and seeing my whole entire rod and me jigging. Wow, sorry. Jigging the rod. And this right here doesn't really show good because if I hold out like this, this is how it's set up. And it's more angled like this when I put it on my head. So that means I'm going to have to lower angle more down so it's more like this because when I normally have it, it's like this. So I want it to be like this. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, comment what I should do for like if I should do an ice fishing challenge, like a budget challenge or only one type of lure challenge or um, like lose or ask to eat something, like something along that lines. Leave a comment down. Please subscribe because once I hit 50 subscribers, I'm giving away something that my subscribers, you guys, want. It could be ice fishing related. It could be um, anything that you guys want that is reasonable, like a gift card, ice fishing rod, a new rod and reel setup, a lure, a pack of Senkos, a couple packs of Senkos, some lures, anything that you guys want that I can get a hold of that I can make you, my subscribers, more happy. So, wow. Thank you for watching the video. As I said before, subscribe, like, comment what we should do next. And also, I've not been getting a lot of support on my story time videos, but I really want to get more support. So if you guys like those videos, please comment down um, below saying, yes, I like those videos, or no, I'm not a big fan of those. Because that's going to help me out a lot, so I know what you guys like. So see you in the next video. Peace.